Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the text wrapper by MAQ Software. Now, this is a very simple visual. The basic idea of it is to be able to take text that you have in your data set and wrap it. So think about text wrapping that you have within inside of Excel, within your data that you might want to apply. And a great example of it you'll see on the right hand side, the top example being some text that I have from a data set that is not wrapped. And then the bottom, what is your salary range? being text that has been wrapped to the next line. So it allows us to pull in data from our data source and wrap it around our visual within the visual's range, meaning how large or small we make that visual, it will auto adjust to be able to fit in the values. There are several format features that you'll see whenever we start to work with it, where we can adjust the way the text appears. You can also do things like add prefix or suffix text that's kind of less dynamic, more static text to this if you wanted to. And you'll see some examples of why you might choose to do that. Maybe I put the, in front of the right-handed example that you see on the slide right now, maybe I put the word question as a prefix that's always there available to my report. So again, this one's designed by MAQ Software. Let's go ahead and walk you through how you can use the text wrapper in a pretty simple example. This one should be a short demonstration, but it gives you an idea of how you can use it. All right, so in this example, what we're going to be doing is we're going to use the text wrapper to bring back data, and or specifically a data set that has a script or multiple scripts from episodes of The Office. So one of my favorite TV shows, it might be yours as well. And what I'd like to do is I want to be able to visualize that data in a Power BI report just for the fun of it, just to kind of show you an idea of how the text wrapper might work uh, and how it can work. And so I want to give you an idea of how this works in our environment. Now, I've already actually brought in a custom visual that we're going to use for this example. It's called the Play Axis. I've actually shown this in a previous video, so you'll get to see how that one works again. But we're gonna start off by bringing in the data for this example, and we're gonna do that by going up to the Get Data section, and we're gonna pull in from Excel, and then I'm gonna go find our example, and that is gonna be inside of our Power BI Custom Visuals folder, and the Data folder. All right, so we're gonna be using this Office Script file right here, it's an Excel file. I'll select Open, and then the spreadsheet from that workbook, we're gonna select is called Season 1. So we're gonna have all of the scripts from Season 1 of the Office, we can see which season it was, which episode it was, what scene it was, and then we'll actually have the text for each line and who was talking available to us as well. We'll go ahead and load this into our data model. And we'll now have this available inside the field list on the right-hand side. And the first couple things I'd like to do is I want to bring in some visuals that are natively available to us, one called the multi-row card that's available right here. And we're going to use the multi-row card to be able to show how this would work normally if I wanted a visual to be able to show text like this. And so. I'll select the multi-row card and I'll bring in the line text. And you're gonna see that there is a, a set of text here for every line inside the Office script. And you can see here, it looks like whenever it can't fit all of the text, what it does is it put this, puts the little dot, 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 or the ellipses here so you know there's more to see. And this is really where the text wrapper is helpful is because when I wanna go see that additional text that I can't see, I need some kind of visual that can manage that for me. And right now I just have to make this larger or smaller to do that when really I want it to kind of wrap to the next line. Now there are some visuals that do support text wrapping, so things like the table can do that, the matrix can do text wrapping, but uh, in this case, I just want to see kind of a one-liner here to see each of these values. And so what I might also want to do is if I want to see one line at a time, maybe I'll use something like this play axis. Again, this is a custom visual I showed in a previous video. And I'll use the play axis to be able to kind of iterate over all of the items that we have or all of the lines that we have. And so I'll bring in something like the ID column here, and that way, I can now hit the play button, and it's going to show me each of the lines in an episode. So you're kind of seeing each of those kind of plot their way through here, and I can see how someone had this conversation in an episode here in an episode of The Office. So pretty cool stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and pause that or stop that for the moment. And what I want to do is I want to actually bring in now the text wrapper. Now, again, this is a custom visual, so we're going to go get this from the marketplace. You'll find that by going up to the marketplace where the custom visuals are right here. And we're going to select or search for the text wrapper. And we'll find the text wrapper by MAQ Software here. And we'll go ahead and add that. And we should see this get added into our design surface or into our visualization pane right here. So I'll go ahead and select and add in the text wrapper. And inside the text wrapper, you should note that it can only show one value at a time. So if I have multiple values like you see here on the bottom, what's going to happen when I attempt to show that is it's not going to be able to display all those values. In fact, it'll tell me that the query returned more than one row please filter the data to a to one particular row. And that's where we can use something like the play axis here. And I can hit the play button and allow me to kind of go through one line at a time here. 
so I can see exactly what's going on in an episode that we happen to have selected here. So pretty cool stuff here. What we can do as well is we can tell it that I want to maybe control the playback speed. This is more a control of the play axis as I can tell it that I want it to go faster or slower here. You just certainly can control that as well. Uh, but what I really want to focus on is the capabilities of the text wrapper. So let's go to one line that we have here, this one in particular. Let's go, at least go to the next one. There we go. All right, so we can see a line here that's inside of the uh, text wrapper. And you can notice that it is wrapping automatically, whereas our multi-row card here below, it has a lot more information there than we can actually see. So there's a benefit there immediately that you can see with the text wrapper that's better than a typical visual like this. We can also, though, do a few other things with inside of the text wrapper. If you select it, you can then go over to the format section over the, where the paintbrush is, and you can start to adjust some of the headings, settings. So you'll have things like the text settings. You can adjust the color of the text. So if you want to adjust it in any way, you can kind of modify it, maybe make it more of a bolder black so you can see it a little better. Or maybe you want to make it something uh, different that stands out a little bit more or less. I'm going to go stick with the black color here and just make it stand out. You can also adjust things like the text size. So I can bump up the text size here. You can change the alignment so it can be centered, or you can make it right aligned. That's up to you. In our case, I'm going to go ahead and flip this back to be left aligned. So that's the text settings. Those are pretty simple here. Let's go down now to the static text settings. Underneath the static text settings, you can actually add some, some static text. And so you can add your own text here. Maybe I call this something like uh, line, and maybe I put brackets around it or something like that. And then when you add that, you can see that it adds that text here statically. So anytime you go and animate the rest of this report, you'll always see that text show up at the end of each one of our values. Now that can be adjusted as well. Right now it's going to be appearing as a suffix, which you can see over here on the right hand side. You can also make it appear as a prefix, so it appears at the beginning of each line. You can determine whether or not you want to see that colon. So right now that colon is visible. You have an option to turn off the colon here by selecting the turn off on the show colon option. You can also highlight the text. So right now the text just appears as is, but if you wanted to, you could highlight it a certain way, like so. I think I'll revert that back to how it was. And you can do things like change the text itself, which we started off by doing. You can change the font family. So if we wanted this to appear differently than everything else, like so, you can do that. And you can make it bold if you wanted to. You can italicize it if you wanted to. You can make it underlined if you wanted to. You can certainly change a lot of formatting of that static text. So again, you can turn off the colon if you like it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. I kind of like it for this example. Then you can go down to the dynamic text settings. Dynamic text has to do with what you see to the right of the colon. So this is Stanley, got to play hurt kind of thing. And we can come over here and we can change whether or not it's highlighted. So we can change whether or not we want to highlight that text. And again, that's dynamic. So as you hit play, you'll see that it actually highlights it for every value that we have. So let me hit pause on that again. And so I can change that. Maybe I don't like that it's highlighted. I can hit revert to default and send it back to where it was. You can also do things like bold it or make it italicized or make it underlined, things like that you can change as well. That's really it for this visual, though. It's a pretty simple one. There's a few other things here, of course, that are available in every custom visual, like the background, the lock aspect, border, title, in general. Those are available in any other visual that you've probably worked with, so nothing new there. And it's a very simple visual, though. The idea here is it makes it easier to be able to see text like this. When you have a lot of text that you need to show on your screen, this is a great way to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this custom visual. Very simple one, simple and short. Look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot.